there you go. That is music from Fleetwood Mac, and we're talking to Sharon Corr about favorite music. Sharon, amongst the things, by the way, in the last bunch of years, first of all, you haven't been around as Corr's wise the last yeah. while, and you've had a couple of kids. Congratulations. Thank Everything you very much. fantastic, I presume. You love the life that way, but you do want to get back and play music, is that it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I basi we basically stopped you know, performing as the cause because um, we needed to have children. I yeah. mean, it was otherwise, we were just going to get too old. <laughs> the, the biological clock was ticking very loudly in yeah. my ear any at that, anyway at that stage, so I needed to stop and have children because it's really impossible when you're on the, the, the treadmill of touring and then album and then touring an album. So, um, so, so yeah, yeah. Okay, one of the pieces of music, that you, oh yeah, something I wanted to say about all that time, I knew there was only, yeah. the MBE, you got an MBE. Yeah. Was that yeah. cool, was it? Are you Sharon Corr MBE? Or honorary is it MBE. MBE. Well, I think because we're Irish, we're sort of a honorary MBE. But, um, um, it was really nice. I mean, it, uh, it was in recognition of the the, the charitable work That's that we had done. It was in recognition of what we had done for um, the Oma bombing and the Princess Trust yeah. over the years. So, um, yes, yeah, so it was definitely an honour. Yeah, it, it was really really nice to get that. Green light. Oh, she didn't give us the MBE. No, uh, we we got it in the uh, embassy. Like, in I, well, I happen to be in. Um, where is the she lives again? I forgot the place she lives in. Uh, Buckingham Palace. Oh, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Anyway, I was in the palace that one day at a gig. She was a hundred years on the crown oh, or whatever Jubilee. it was. Yeah. Jubilee, whatever how many years it was, I don't know. And uh, it was brilliant because it was about I don't know how many people in the audience, about two or three thousand, ten thousand, I don't know. And up up on the stage, she comes out the stage with her son, and standing on the stage right beside her is you guys, but standing in the middle looking like this is Ozzy Osbourne uh, and yeah, like it was like yeah. where's Sharon and Sharon was sitting here beside me it's the funniest thing I've ever seen and you yeah. guys all you didn't get the envy at that stage was it no, no it, was it was after I think yeah it was after yeah, okay. a few years I've forgotten piece of music I mentioned did I, did I say I'm going to play a piece of music there no I didn't no no, no Martin Hayes that's what I wanted to mention oh, yeah. let's yeah. go right back to Martin Hayes and take it back to Ireland what is it about Martin Hayes um I, I, I think he plays um Irish music with his um, own particular style and it's almost like the violin is another limb um, and his intonation is absolutely incredible but the phrasing is phenomenal the way he plays those jigs and reels are, it's just phenomenal and I, and I did he was probably one of the only fiddle players that, that I wanted to be like I, I, I just loved everything that he did and it was just the emotion in the way that he plays is, it, it is incredible. You, uh, you were playing the violin from the age of six. Yeah. Were you made go to violin lessons and get to like it? Or I bet you, you must have hated it for a while, did you? I did, yeah, yeah. I definitely. I mean, the, the thing about the violin is, is it's, it's the type of instrument that only actually comes into its own after a couple of years of learning it, because the first time you pretty much sound like a cat, mm. you know, being thrown around a room. It is pretty awful. Um, but... Yeah, it was a love, and it always has actually been a love-hate relationship. The violin is a very, very difficult um, instrument, and if you let it go at any, you know, for any length of time, you have to spend so much time making it up. Really? Yeah, you really do. But you, you, you could be a teacher with the violin now. You play with an orchestra with the violin, haven't you? I did. I couldn't be a teacher. I mean, I could probably teach what I know, but I'm not, um, you know, I don't have all the grades. I mean, I, I think I did to grade seven, but I was kind of one of those... Um, I never did things quite the way they should be done there. I never yeah. really fitted into the rules at all. All right, well then obviously what you're trying to say is that Sharon Corr is pretty good in the violin, but Martin Hayes is better. Oh Please. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 